Hello, my name's Matt. Welcome to another session from LearnHowToReason.com. And today I want to show you how to make the reverse reverb effect in Reason. It's an awesome effect. It's been used for years, and you can use it on vocals, uh, cymbals. Uh, other, you can use it basically on any audio file you want to. And it's pretty cool, so let's get to it. Here I have a simple vocal part that I recorded, and you'll see here that I have it uh, in between bars. I can I can snap this in between bars, and it and I lengthened it so it would snap in between bars. That's very important, and I'll t I'll show you why in a little bit. But once you record it, you want to lengthen it or you know put it so it snaps in between bars or fourths or eighths or whatever, just so it it will it's even and snaps either way. So what we do here is uh, we have this vocal. Well, hey, how are you doing? Yeah. Simple, dry vocal. And I want to add some uh, reverse reverb to it. And what I do is I call up a reverb here with a long, I want it to have a long uh, reverb trail. So let's turn this on and let's listen to the trail here. We can put it right about here. Yeah. See that trail that you hear there? That is what we're going to go after. And we're going to have that trail come in reversed when this regular vocal starts. So when you're making your, you know, picking out your reverb, you can listen to that right there because that's going to be your trail. Yeah. You can lengthen it. Yeah. I just want something about here. Right about there. That should be good enough. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I've got the reverb I want. I'm going to uh, reverse this clip. I just right clicked and selected reverse on the clip. Or you can go up to edit. Uh, reverse clip and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to export the loop uh, as an audio file and I'm going to call it uh, Vox Verb right on the desktop Okay, now I'm going to select this track here because I want to import that audio file to that track and I'm going to import audio right there. Learn how to spell. That's supposed to be a, an X. And here we go. We have our reversed reverb along with our verse vocal. So let's reverse them back. Um, reverse clip back to its original and then we'll reverse this clip there we go and see now look I can just push this right there and it will be it's in perfect sync with the reverb and then I can go up here and shorten it a bit let's grab these and bring them back just start it uh, there. And so let's uh, turn off uh, the original reverb that's on this vocal here so we don't get that on top of this. And this is what we have. Well, hey, how are you doing? Yeah. And you can adjust the volume, the mix. Well, hey, how are you doing? Yeah. And there you
there you have it. It's that simple. But now let me show you another cool thing here. Now, what I'd like to do is have the this part, just this part on this part of the vocal. Yeah! To get that. So I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn off the snap. And I just want it, like, maybe coming in right like that. And we'll just, we'll have it just come in like that. Let's, let's listen to that now. Well, hey, how are you doing? Yeah. See, so you can go in and edit the, the reverb trails, you know, maybe to a specific word, a phrase. And it's that simple. It really is pretty simple. So I hope it helps you out. That's uh, how you create the reverse uh, reverb effect um, in Reason.